Hi folks and welcome to Tips for Graphite Drawing, a business card demo. In this demo, I'll show you what drawing an eye looking sideways and up can do to the overall shape of the eye. I think it's also important to say that I am over exaggerating the shape of the eye in this drawing by just a little bit. It's not necessarily like this for all eyes and what's really important when you're doing a graphite drawing is use your good observational skills. I've drawn a lot of eyes over the years and I have become familiar with shape and position. This does not necessarily make me the expert, but only one of many artists who use and teach observational drawing as a means of perfecting your overall depiction of your subjects. In the photographs I've included of my own eye, you can see the shape has changed and the eyelid and the shape of the eye has slightly shifted. This is because the eye is being pulled and pushed out at the same time by the cornea of the eye. And we have a tendency to open the eye slightly as we look upwards. This drawing is also done without an image reference. Drawing from memory is fun, but if you're working towards realism, you always want to make sure you're really comfortable with your subject, your use of tools and your rendering skills. You also want to have or start to develop a good understanding of shape, form, position of subject elements and construction. I truly believe we can get there with good practice, getting some feedback on your work from other artists or teachers, and really assess your abilities and your own skills. I'm starting with the basic shape and I'm going to build from there. The drawing will be a mix between a sketch and a finished form as it's more about the shape than the perfection of the render. I'm going to keep working on this image and you'll begin to get a sense of the shape as the values are added to it. It's a fun and really neat little graphite drawing project to practice on your own. As a tip, using graphite to do your practice drawings is always a wonderful way to fill your sketchbook and to get your hand and eye coordinated together. The fluidity of graphite as it lays down beautifully and blends dark to light makes it such an accommodating medium.
some of you some food for thought and a good way to practice this is to take a bunch of photos of yourself or someone else do this eye turn looking slightly up and then keep practicing your drawings by looking at those once you feel really comfortable with that start doing it just from your imagination and see what happens you might be surprised so just keep drawing and thanks for joining me